Hello friends, I'm Tim Wildsmith and I'm holding two premium Bibles from Crossway. In my right hand, a goatskin leather Bible. In my left hand, a Horween leather Bible. Which one's better? Which one makes more sense for you? Stick around to find out. So a lot of people have been talking about these new Horween leather Bibles from Crossway. Horween leather is very, very beautiful, but it's, it's very unique and it's going to wear in over time and it's very expensive. So Crossway moved the production of their premium line of Bibles, the Heirloom Collection, back to Royal Youngblood in the Netherlands. And they said, hey, we're not just going to offer goatskin editions of the Bible, which they do. I have one of those here. We're going to offer an option with Horween leather. And Horween's this beautiful leather. It's from a company in Chicago. It's absolutely gorgeous. I've got a watch band. I've got a wallet. I've got some bags that have Horween leather on them, but they put it on a Bible. It's a very interesting decision. It's a very unique leather. And I mentioned in my unboxing video that I've seen a lot of comments online from people who either love it or hate it. And when I say love it, they're just saying, hey, this is my forever Bible. I love this. It's going to wear in over time. I'm really, really excited about it. I can't wait to see how this Bible ages, right? And then other people have just posted this Bible kind of quietly on the buy sell trade groups on Facebook and said, hey, it's not for me. And I've seen a lot of those posts. I've seen a ton of people who purchased one of these Bibles in the last few months and then said, hey, I'm going to go ahead and sell this. It's not for me. And I think the reason for that is because this is a very soft leather. It's going to get marked up over time. If you're someone who wants a really clean, pretty Bible, that's not what this is. So the idea here is to do a side-by-side -side comparison of the leathers on these two Bibles so you can kind of get a feel for what makes them different and what makes them special, right? That's, that's the whole goal of this video. So before we dive in, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Now we're going to do an overhead shot. I'm going to give you a side-by-side -side comparison of these two awesome Bibles. Okay, Horween on the left, goatskin on the right. The very, very first right away, you just kind of notice the difference in the texture of the leather. So Horween is a very smooth leather. It's got it very smooth to touch, whereas the goatskin, you can see that pebbly grain in there. So it's a big, big difference on, on just the way that it looks on the outside. Then you, on the feel, this has more of a, initially it has more of a rugged texture versus a smooth texture. Now the word rugged is part of uh, what Crossway has on their website list to describe the Horween leather is that it's rugged. They talk about how it develops distinct character and color over time that it's going to patina the more you use it. That's why this Bible is so specific, right? Because it's a unique leather that is made to kind of age and grow. So here you can see better some of these little scratches and things like that. That's just because my buddy Jason, who owns this Bible, he has used this Bible a little bit. You see little nicks and wear and stuff like that on the back here. There might be some of that's dust from my, my studio here, but there's a few little bumps and bruises. And the more you use it, the more you're going to get. See in there, the cover there, some of those little specks and stuff like that. This Bible is going to do that. Now, here's a little example. These are my watch bands for my Vare watch. I shout out to my friends at Vare watches, love this watch. But this is Horween leather. If you look, can I get it in here? See, so it says Vare, and if I pull that up, it says Horween leather. Horween. This, you know, look at that. It scrapes up, it gets lines, it gets used, that sort of thing. This is what Horween leather is going to do over time. And now imagine if you use this Bible quite a bit, it's going to happen. Here's another. This is not Horween leather, but this is my wallet from the folks at Loyal Strickland. And this is a similar type of leather, although not specifically Horween. This was super clean and new when I first got it. And now coming in and out now, I'm not going to put my Bible in and out of my back pocket all day long every day. But that's what I'm talking about. This Bible is going to do this. My friend Bo Tate, he's another Bible reviewer here on YouTube. He's done a bunch of different Horween leather Bible videos where he compares one of these brand new to one that he's used quite a bit and what happens is this leather will get some like wrinkles in it and it'll get some of these little spots and nicks and stuff like that and it really wears in over time and so one of the specific things you need to think about with Horween leather is are you cool with that goat skin although it will wear in over time and it might get some little nicks and things like that it's pretty much if you use this bible every day it's pretty much going to look like this in a year it's, I mean, it might be a little bit more flexible. The binding might open up a little bit. I did notice this. I don't know if you can see this, but okay, let me focus on the leather. Then I'll get to the inside. It's gonna, I think this is gonna kind of look the way it looks. 
the, the more you use it, it will show signs of wear, it will become more flexible, but on the outside, it's gonna look like that unless you scrape it on something or cut it. This Bible, no matter how much you baby it, it is going to show wear and it's gonna take on that character they talk about, the patina, that sort of thing. The more you use it, that's gonna happen. And I just think that you have to be prepared to do that. Some of you are watching this going, oh, that sounds really cool. Like this is gonna wear and age and it's gonna be like this cool leather product. It's gonna look like something like this or like this in a year and it's my Bible, that's really great. Some of you are going, I don't want my Bible to look scraped and, and, and beat up. That's not what I want in a Bible. I'm, well, if that's you, if, you're, if that terrifies you, then you need to go with the goat skin edition because you're not going to want to to see that in your Bible. But if you like that idea, this is a really cool, unique thing. Now, okay, so comparisons. They both get the perimeter stitch you can see around the outside. They both get the raised spine hubs. Boom, you notice right away there's the gold foil on this one versus the blind stamping. That's what this is called when they have it in there, but there's no uh, foil in there. So I like both of those looks really, really great. Just different. They're a different look and feel. This is the same ESV Heritage text block, so the inside is the exact same. You notice on the on the goatskin one, you do get a gold gilt liner on the inside, whereas you don't get that on the Horween leather. They're both edge line constructed. Again, same text block. It says goatskin leather in the bottom of that one. It doesn't say anything in the bottom of the Horween edition. Both of them come with the same four Dinky ribbons, that's my nice way of saying it. Um, overall, same look and feel, other than a couple of those cosmetic things like that, the biggest difference is gonna be, obviously, the leather. I don't need to labor this point, I've kinda told you what it is. I just think that it's really an interesting move from Crossway. Now, <laughs> the other big, 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 big difference is $100. So this Bible, the list price on Crossway's website is $229. Now, you. If you create a free Crossway Plus membership on their website, you immediately get a 30% discount. So 30% of 20, 220, 229 is, is, what is that, $69. So you're going to get money off of that. But then you, this one right here is 329 So it's $100 more. So even with the discount, this Bible is going to be close to $250. Um, and you just have to think about that. If it's going to be you know almost $100 more for this than that. And so, so that's definitely something to consider. I think it makes sense. The price difference makes sense because this is a very expensive product. The Horween Leather Company has been around for over 100 years in Chicago. It's, it's a really, really beautiful thing. It it's definitely feels like a super boutique custom edition of the Bible. I've even started to see some of the rebinders out there start to get into the Horween Leather um, business because of this Bible and because of how popular it's been. So I definitely think that it's, it's got the same art gilding, by the way. I definitely think that it's it's a really cool product. You just have to think about that outside leather thing. For me, if I had to make, I'm not even going to tell you my decision because in a second I'm going to ask you to tell me yours. But I think they're very unique, and I definitely think they're both solidly made, will last a lifetime, despite the fact that this is going to wear. It's a very sturdy piece of leather that's going to look good in 10 years. It's If you like that look, it's going to look good in 10 years. It's not going to fall apart on you. It's a great piece of leather. Um, it is rugged but it's gonna wear in. It'd be amazing to see this next to this in a year after daily use, because this one would still look a lot like it looks now, whereas this one would look totally, totally different. Really, really cool. So there you have it, the Horween edition and the Goatskin edition of the ESV Heirloom Heritage Bible. Now I have one question for you, and I want all of you, if you're watching this video, I want you to go down in the comments and tell me which one of these do you prefer and why? Would you choose the Horween Leather Bible, or would you choose the goatskin leather Bible. Leave me a comment and let me know. If you have any questions about these, definitely uh, leave those in the comments as well. I've done unboxing videos with both of these Bibles, and tomorrow I have a full in-depth review. It's not just about the leather, it's a deep dive into this entire Bible, the text block, the paper, the font size, all of that stuff. So check back to watch that video. It's been a lot of fun doing this. I'm really, really excited about these Bibles. Crossway, they're both beautiful, but they're very, very unique. So definitely leave one of those comments. Find me on Instagram, and Facebook. Definitely check the description of this video as well if you want to purchase one of these Bibles. And again, before we go, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.